Hey guys, happy Monday. I'm actually filming this on Monday, but it's probably going to go up on Friday. Anyways, I have been meaning to make a vlog style of video. I wanted to vlog a day in my life as a new mom. I thought maybe you guys might be interested in seeing it, but also I thought it'd be really fun to look back next year when Milo's a year old and just see how much things have changed. So I just want to share with you what I do throughout the day. It is currently 9.01 in the morning and I actually start my day at 5 a.m. and I'll explain that. So I am an exclusive pumper. Um, I have just been pumping my breast milk for Milo. Um, it just works better for us. I can make a whole other video on how I got to that point if you guys are interested. So I pump six times a day and I get up for my first pump at five and at first it was really hard but now I kind of enjoy being up that early because I kind of have a little bit of time to myself. So I pump at five and then I make me um, my coffee and um, my husband actually got me this um, Keurig for my birthday and I really really like it. Let me know if you guys have some favorite flavors for your Keurig. So far we like the donut shop kind from Myers or Target. So I make coffee and then I work online for an hour to two hours every morning for an online company. So I have already also done that. Then my husband actually, it works out perfectly. My husband watches Milo while I work and he usually just sleeps. But with a newborn, I have learned no day is the same and you can plan to do all kinds of certain chores that day and the baby can just throw you off. For example, Milo, um, he sleeps in his crib and sometimes early morning I end up laying him in bed with me for an hour. Well, my husband ended up laying him in the bed for an hour with him and he decided to poop on our bed. So I have to wash our sheets this morning, which I was not planning on doing. So anyways, um, my husband has already left for work. I have to wash my pump parts and wash a couple dishes and then I'm gonna do some laundry and I have to do a little bit more computer homework homework, a little more computer work um, before I am completely done with my job for the morning. And then I'll just show you what me and Milo will do without, throughout the day. Hopefully he's in a good mood. Um, oftentimes he'll be really cute and as soon as I pull out the camera, he will stop being cute. So maybe since this is a different camera, he'll be okay with it. Um, he's asleep right now and I'll show you guys in just a minute and then tonight me and my husband's having a bit of an outing if Milo is still up for it later so I thought it would just be a really fun day to do a day in my life video so let me go show you Milo. So this is his first morning nap and he'll probably nap about an hour and I try to get as much done as I can including one of my pumping sessions because then I'm not trying to entertain him while I'm pumping. So I'm going to get started on that. Um, and normally I leave him in his pajamas but because he pooped on our bed and pooped in his pajamas he's already in his clothes for the day. It's a really cute outfit I'll have to show you guys later so I'll just take you along with me for the day. Sorry, but if you were like my husband, this probably gives you OCD. My husband, when he helps me, he um, lays everything out perfectly and all in a row and all categorized. Uh, but I don't have time for that. So I just try to get it done as quickly as possible and then just let it air dry. are my um, pump parts this is just the, these are just the bottles that came with the pump I use the Lansano um, pump and I will show you that in a minute and I use um, a bra and pump both at the same time same time that just works faster for me um, so I wanted to share with this real quick with you if you want to save the skin around your breast and um, help your nipple I read this somewhere and um, it was very helpful because I was already having problems with that Rub some olive oil in here, and I read that you can do the same with coconut oil, and I'm trying to do this with one hand. Um, 
So rub it here, but also rub it along the rim. And I feel it has really helped my skin not break um, because when my skin was breaking and stuff, it was getting itchy and um, the texture was getting very rough. So this has helped the texture of my skin on my breast. So let me show you my pump. This is the Lansano Smart Pump and I highly recommend it. It has a couple different um, settings you can do um, and it's super easy. You just turn it on here and it starts pumping right away. It will pump pretty quickly till two minutes and then after two minutes it does the slower pump. And I use both of these to hook into the pumps. The cord is decently long so it's pretty easy to plug into the wall and set somewhere. I have been setting in this spot right here when I pump um, because it's closest to the swing and I can set my stuff down here. Um, I keep a blanket here in case I have to get him out of the swing while I'm pumping so I can play with him on the floor. That has happened several times. <laughs> um, so me and my husband eventually want to get another chair that I can pump in because I think this is going to starting to get permanently my body mold into the cushion <laughs> and I need somewhere else to sit for my posture. My back has really been starting to hurt me. Please ignore my house. I'm pretty sure anyone who has had a kid understands, but trying to clean with a kid is almost impossible at times. And then when they are sleeping, you have something else you want to do or you want to catch a nap because you're so tired. So I am just trying to do the best that I can. Alright guys, I am about three months postpartum and I just pumped um, seven ounces. I normally pump 40 to 42 ounces a day and I have quite a, I have quite a storage system going in the fridge. Um, I keep a couple bottles in there and this is kind of for the daily use and then I have been also freezing some bottles or freezing some bags. And I stack them all in this bag and then I put them in a big Ziploc bag. And my mother-in-law has been letting me take my bags over to her freezer. She has a big freezer in her garage. So I've just been putting them in there. This is something the hospital gave me. I don't know if y'all got one or not. Um, but that just tells how long everything can be stored for. So I am trying to build a collection of so I'm trying to build a collection of frozen milk in the fridge and the freezer for him to have whenever he needs it. So I actually need to bag the one in the freezer now and get that ready to go down there. camera say hi I'm three months old or I'm almost three months old let's go get you changed hi love can you say hi hi this is his outfit today it's a hippo t-shirt and some shorts my sister got him this outfit and I don't remember where she got it from and then these bibs are the best. The bibs that hook on the side, it's so much easier to put on. And he's currently wearing a bib almost all day now because he is slobbering everywhere. He's almost three months old. He'll be three months 
next Friday the 19th. So that's what we've been wearing. Um, this is his changing table and I don't really put a cover on it anymore. I have all kinds of cute covers but he keeps peeing or pooping on it and it's just easier to put a towel under him and when he has an accident just take the towel out and wash it. Um, the Huggies Natural Care Wipes are our favorite wipes to use and he works best with the Huggies diapers. And he's oftentimes more playful and giggly and laughing but like I said earlier whenever there's a camera he decides to stop. Hey! Hey! Did you smile? Yeah! He can smile. Smile, Milo! Smile for mommy! Smile for mommy! <laughs> So it's about almost 11 o'clock now and this is about when he's been waking up and he'll want to eat again here soon and I just try to play with him every so many hours. Um, that's one thing I've learned as a mom, trying to get everything done while working a bit of a part-time job, cleaning the house, trying to cook supper and do life's many other things while taking care of a baby can sometimes become overwhelming. So. No matter how busy I am, whenever he's awake from a nap, I try to play with him for 10 or 15 minutes. And then usually after that, I will like put him in his swing or leave him on this blanket on the floor. That's been his favorite here lately. He does have like a little playpen area too that I might put him in. Um, but this is his favorite and me and him just try to play for a little bit here before I have to go do some different things. One thing too I want to share with you real quick and I thought this would be fun to look back on. Um, these are his favorite books. This one is If You're Happy and You Know It and he loves the buttons that you push. And then his other favorite book so far is The Snuggly Puppy Book. He absolutely loves this book and I hope he will smile and laugh like he normally does. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, when the camera gets in his face, he decides to get bashful. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? What are you doing? Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. That has been his favorite song. What? What, Milo? What? Uh, oh, oh. Oh. What? Are you talking to me? Ooh. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. What? You talking to mommy? What? What? <gasps> Milo. You ready to read our one book? Yeah. <gasps> Snuggle puppy. Well, I have a thing to tell you and it won't take long. Yeah. I love what you are. I love what you do. Fuzzy little snuggle puppy. I love you. Do you love mommy? I love you, Milo. I love you, Milo. I love you. What are you doing, big guy? You moving like crazy? Yeah?
All right, guys, this is his playpen that a uh, lovely, that a sweet lady from our church got us for our baby shower, and it is from Target, and I really like it, and he seems to enjoy it, although some days he doesn't like it and doesn't want to be in there. Hopefully, this isn't one of those days, so I'm going to leave him in here for a little bit um, while I go try to finish some of my computer work that I have to do, so we'll see how this goes. Hey guys, it is 1.20 and I have been playing with Milo and feeding Milo and I had a pump again. I pumped about seven ounces and I just now was able to make me my lunch. Um, I'm eating leftovers. Last night I made some uh, of a nacho type of dip mixed with beans and corn and some different spices. So I have that, some nachos and some cheese and I'm gonna eat that real quick and then try to do the computer work that I've been trying to do for the past couple of hours. So I'll check in with you guys later. <clears throat> it's almost two o'clock and Mr. Somebody here woke up and he was giving me smiles. Yeah. Can you smile for mommy? Can you smile? Can you smile? since I last updated. It is 4.27 and I'm about to pump for the fourth time today. Yeah, And um, this is my normal schedule that I do. I actually just woke up from Milo. Milo normally lays down at two or three and he'll nap for a couple hours. During that time, mommy also tries to lay down and I nap for about an hour and he's still asleep. So I really enjoy napping with him during this time and just getting my sweet snuggles in while I can. So I am going to eat my snack, which in case you're wondering, these plates, which I think are super cute, are from TJ Maxx. And I actually grabbed the last ones here when I saw them because I thought they were super cute. So my husband is going to be getting off at 5. Um, and we're going to have a night out if Milo is still up for it. I still have not fully gotten all my computer work done but that's okay I will try to work on it some once I get done pumping he may or may not still be asleep by then so we'll see okay the lighting is not the greatest but we are at this new dollar store um, just having a family night yeah we got our quarters so we're gonna go see what we can find deal from the dollar store we are eating at noodles and company it's one of the best restaurants we found for gluten-free vegetarian options we get pad thai and we'll see how long mr. somebody makes it because he's getting fussy Milo is actually asleep. Um, so we've had a nice little date night and I highly recommend Kroger Clicklist. That's pretty much all we use right now because grocery shopping with a three month old is a two man job sometimes because I only like to go with the grocery once a week. So we kind of stock up on everything and trying to push him and a cart of groceries by yourself is like impossible. So. My husband just had to go inside and get a few other things that wasn't on our click list. So I'm just sitting out here with him. We are going to go home. It's not a bath night for Milo. He takes a bath every other night. Um, so we're just going to go home. He'll probably eat one more time. And he's been going to bed about 
9.30 to 10 and then he sleeps till 7 in the morning. Sometimes he wakes up at 2 or 3 and he's kind of awake, kind of asleep. He just wants you to put the pacifier in his mouth. Um, but that's our plans for the night so I will check in with y'all again later. It's 9.42 and I just want to show you this real quick. We are getting ready to put Milo in bed and I just lay a blanket on our bed and turn the light off. This little night light is a lifesaver. I can try to link it on Amazon, but it's just like the perfect light. Let me turn it on real quick. It turns on really low like that and you just hold the top. Normally. Okay, it's not wanting to do it right now. Hang on. And it gets brighter and then you just touch it again it gets softer and it can do different colors but anyways i lay milo right here and i give him his and i give him his last bottle and he falls asleep beside me and then we let him sleep there because i get up and go do a few more things before i go to bed and then we just move him over here to his crib which is still in our room and he's been sleeping through the night so he's a little fussy right now i don't fully know what that's about so prayers that he sleeps tonight and i really enjoyed making this video and i look forward to looking back at it next year when he's a year old just to see what it was like again when he was three months so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe bye guys